are 20 of the most beautiful and heartwarming moments of respect in sports. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for two weeks of good luck. All right, let's get started. In a wrestling competition, Sambo wrestler Stepan Popov was fighting against Azerbaijan world champion Emil Gasimov. Popov delivered a painful blow to Gasimov. It was so powerful that Gasimov asked the referee to stop the fight. He couldn't even get up. And that's when Popov lifted him on his shoulders and brought him into the changing room. A true sportsman. Can you imagine you've been trying to throw each other around for five minutes? This clip took place during the French Championship in a match between PSG and Rennes. As the Brazilian soccer player Neymar was headed towards the edge of the pitch, he noticed a fan rushing in his direction to hug him with tears in his eyes. Neymar's reaction was priceless. He didn't just hug the fan back, but he also protected him from the security guards and handed him his shirt. Serbian Novak Djokovic, who's known for being one of the world's best tennis players, as well as having a great sense of humor, protected a ball boy from the rain during a tennis match. Not only that, but he also offered him water. This memory will surely be etched in the boy's mind for the rest of his life. During the 19th minute of a match of the Spanish championship between Real Madrid and Getafe, Cristiano Ronaldo hit the ball into the crowd, accidentally slamming it into a fan's face. When the match ended, Ronaldo personally went up to the fan to reconcile with him. He also handed him a t-shirt signed with his name, and the two took a photo together. To sweeten it, Ronaldo actually scored a hat trick in that game, resulting in a victory for Real Madrid. Soccer isn't the only sport with respectworthy moments. During a tennis match, Spanish tennis player Rafael Nadal stopped the game when he noticed a panicked mother looking for her lost daughter in a crowd of more than 7,000 people. Nadal halted the game. And in the end, the little girl was found and the crowd applauded this heartwarming moment. The trajectory of tennis balls is often unpredictable, so it's not a rare occurrence for a member of the crowd or a referee to get hit. Well, during a Hopman Cup match, Russian tennis player Marat Safin accidentally hit the ball at the referee's face. Without hesitation, he quickly ran up to her and gave her a warm kiss on the cheek. Two blows on the same net court judge, and he goes up with the apologetic smooch on the cheek. It was well received. It was truly heartwarming. During the 2014 Olympic Games that took place in Sochi, Russia, Anton Gafarov tumbled down a hill during the semifinals and one of his skis broke. Oh. Despite the tough fall and the difficulty of the Sochi track, Gafarov was determined to reach the finish line. Advancing to the finish line with his broken ski, he kept on falling and falling. Been where the trouble is. Oh! Canadian coach Justin Wadsworth couldn't stay in his place after he had seen the whole ordeal. He approached the Russian and handed him a spare ski to help him finish the competition. If you have ever suffered from cramps, you probably know how uncomfortable and painful they can be. Well, British tennis player Kyle Edmonds suffered from a painful cramp during a match against Bulgarian tennis player Grego Dimitrov. It was so severe that he cried out in pain and fell on the court. Grego immediately rushed over to check on him and helped him get off the court safely. Such cry of anguish. A rare event happened during the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. During the men's 400-meter freestyle, Spanish swimmer Miguel Duranavia had a false start by not properly clinging on the board. He was immediately disqualified from the race by the judges. Heartbroken by the disqualification, Navia left the swimming pool crying. However, after seeing his disappointment, the judges decided to let him return to the board. 
When the sixth stage of the Biathlon World Cup, which was held in Anthals, was nearing its end, an incredibly emotional episode took place. Russian athlete Daria Domatrova and her Italian opponent Dorothea Vere fought for silver. As Vere was about to reach the finish line, her stick broke on her opponent's ski. She dropped the stick and tried to reach the finish line, and it seemed that she would only be able to get bronze. However, seeing that her opponent could no longer compete with her equally, Daria did something incredible. The athlete stopped competing and in the end, Vere won the silver medal while Daria came in third. When she was interviewed afterwards, she stated that the reason that Dorothea's stick broke was because of her, and she didn't see it as fair to compete against her because of something that she did. Manuel Akanji's own goal led to victory for Sweden in the final phase of the 2018 World Cup. He hit the ball wrong and cost Switzerland the victory, but the reaction of the athletes was beautiful. The Swedes rushed to console Akanji because they knew the kind of embarrassment he felt, even though this could happen to anyone. Sometimes what may seem like a small act of kindness from a soccer star can put the biggest smile on a fan's face. For example, the boots that Neymar gave to one of his fans probably became the coolest piece in his collection. The Brazilian star had to walk barefoot a little, but the guy's happiness was definitely worth it. Finishing a marathon is one of the most difficult yet rewarding tasks someone can go through. During the 37th London Marathon, Matthew Rees helped his fellow competitor, David Wyeth, reach the finish line. At the 42-kilometer mark, Wyeth's legs began to become shaky and wobbly as a result of his exhaustion. He kept on going for as long as he could, but with 300 meters remaining, he couldn't continue. That's when Rees stopped to help him cross the finish line, sacrificing his own result. During the 2012 Norwegian Championship, Eric Mjeld, the captain of Braun, accidentally scored a goal as he was giving the ball to the Lillestrøm players. Although the referee counted it, Mjeld and his teammates didn't think it was fair and agreed to let the opposing team score. Braun's goalkeeper wasn't on board with the idea, however, justice won in the end. In a World Cup match between Portugal and Uruguay, Adinson Cavani, a Uruguayan striker, got injured in the 71st minute. He couldn't continue playing and began to limp before being replaced by Christian Stuani. It's a pretty regular occurrence in soccer, but an amazing moment of sportsmanship happened when he left the field. Portuguese captain Cristiano Ronaldo put his arm out. Cavani leaned on him and Ronaldo helped him get to the bench. <laughs> NHL Washington Capitals left side striker Alex Ovechkin has dedicated fans from all around the world. On one occasion, he decided to take a 10-year-old fan named Anne on a date. Anne, who has Down syndrome, met the whole hockey team and the team coach before going on a lunch date with Ovechkin. And it was truly heartwarming. Help you. Good. Oh. <laughs> and then this was the one you brought for him where you said he has the dark hair. High five, man. Which of these do you think was the best? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications on to make sure you never miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.